Hi, my name is Jerry Galt with PR3 Systems. I'm glad you took the time to review this overview presentation of the ETL fundamentals. The intended audience is for anyone with an interest in ETL and should benefit a wide variety of interest levels from IT to business management, developers, analysts, and so on. So let's get started. First of all, what does ETL stand for? ETL as an acronym for Extract, Transform, Load. So why ETL? Why do businesses need ETL solutions? Every day, more and more companies are starting to think about data warehouses to better analyze their data and get valuable information to reduce cost and or boost sales. A data warehouse is a common repository of information about a company's activities and operations, which is sourced by transactional data. The data warehouse allows us to ask real-life business questions such as which brand sold more products this month or who is my top performing salesman. Because transactional databases are heavily used every day to store the company's operational data, they cannot be used to answer the complex business questions which enable a manager to make good business decisions. So then, how does the data from my everyday transactional databases get moved or copied to the data warehouse? This is where ETL comes into play. Companies know they have valuable data throughout their organization. The only problem is that the data lies in all sorts of heterogeneous systems and therefore in all sorts of formats such as enterprise databases, access databases, Excel files, flat files, or data from external business suppliers or business partners. For example, a financial institution might have information on a customer in several departments although each department has that customer's information listed in a different way. The membership department might list the customer by name, whereas the accounting department might list the customer by an ID number. ETL can bundle all this data and consolidate it into a uniform presentation. All ETL efforts are to help the business increase sales or reduce costs by making good decisions based on facts. Therefore, all ETL projects start with the business requirements. There are several other requirements involved in the project, such as compliance requirements, security, cleansing data, and understanding data archiving and lineage requirements, and working within the constraints of existing or expanding resources. These three functions are combined in one tool to extract data out of one database or data source and place it into another. The first step in the ETL process is to map the data between the source systems and the target databases. The second step is the cleansing of the source data in the staging area. The third step is transforming the cleansed source data and loading it into the target system. ETL is software that enables businesses to consolidate and move their data. The data can come from any source and can be in different forms or formats. ETL is powerful enough to handle such data disparities. Extraction is the process of collecting data, often from many locations, in all different heterogeneous systems. The raw data is often written directly to a staging area with some minimal restructuring. This allows the original extract to be as simple and as fast as possible and allows for the flexibility to restart the extract in the occasion of an interruption. One important function of ETL is cleansing the data. The ETL consolidation protocols also include the elimination of duplicate or fragmentary data so that what passes from the extraction portion of the process to the load portion is easier to assimilate and store. After extraction, the data is transformed, depending on the specific business logic involved so that it can be sent to the target repository. Transformation occurs by using rules or lookup tables or combining or aggregating the data with other data. For example, the category of a person's sex, male, might be represented in three different systems such as capital M, the word male, and zero. 
the ETL software would recognize that these entries mean the same thing and convert them to the target format. In addition, the ETL process could involve standardizing name and address fields, verifying telephone numbers, or expanding records with additional fields containing demographic data from other systems. This portion of the ETL equation is the most powerful. ETL can transform not only data from different departments, but also data from different sources. For example, data in an email program, such as Microsoft Outlook, could be transformed right along with data from an SAP manufacturing application. The final step in the process is loading the data into the target repository, many times a data warehouse. Although this step may seem trivial, it is usually a point where data exception and error handling becomes very important. Each organization needs to decide how these exceptions and errors are addressed so that the final data result is fully understood. ETL processes can be performed in batch mode, which are scheduled executions of a job or set of jobs, or may be performed in real time using techniques such as triggers or events. ETL tools can support star or snowflake schema databases, and some tools provide specific utilities such as dealing with slowly changing dimensions or change capture. This diagram represents a typical ETL process flow. Data sources on the left are extracted by the ETL processes in the middle, and the final output is into a data warehouse. This is a high-level overview, although there are many hidden details and considerations along the flow. As you recall, ETL follows the Extract, Transform, and Load methodology. ELT is a process of extract, load, then transform, where the transformation is accomplished by database utilities such as procedures, triggers, or SQL code. It is common for many organizations to have a blend of the ETL and ELT approaches. The ETL approach is probably the most popular. ETL tools provide programming capabilities for complex operations, and some tools allow external reference to C++ or Java code for even more extensibility. Some ETL tools scale extremely well to enhance performance and generally support a variety of hardware and database vendors. Like any technological solution, there are always alternatives and different approaches to solving the same problem. The ELT approach may have attractive benefits for certain solutions depending on the target database's capabilities. Therefore, it is important to be open-minded when designing and developing a data warehouse solution. Just like the ELT approach, ETL tools also have attractive benefits. Today, ETL tools have matured to the point where they do what they were designed to do very well. They may be packaged with other best-of-breed tools, such as data profiling, data cleansing, job scheduling, business process modeling, and etc., to provide a complete and comprehensive solution. Before the evolution of ETL tools, the ETL process was done manually by using SQL code created by programmers, and each data interface was custom developed. This task was tedious and cumbersome, and involved many resources, complex coding, and work hours. These difficulties are eliminated by ETL tools, and if chosen wisely, can significantly reduce development cost. There are a number of ETL tools available in the market. They can range from open source free tools to high priced commercial tools. This chart illustrates some of the most popular ETL solutions available today. If you are serious about choosing an ETL solution, each product should be investigated to determine how each satisfies the ETL requirements for your organization. The chart above depicts an ETL flow based on technologies from the IBM InfoSphere suite. Other vendors may have similar technologies to provide comparable solutions. Hopefully you have found this presentation helpful and useful in improving your knowledge about ETL fundamentals. We at PR3 Systems would enjoy hearing from you, so contact us at info at pr3systems.com. Our goal is to help businesses collect data, transform it into information, so they can make good decisions.